nine gosh today so we've got some little bit of sugar some list some flour oil shawl um, salt a little bit of butter and about a cup of milk which has been warmed a little bit you have to have it warmed and then this is to give it all so about a fair kilogram of um, list about half a half a bag of list half a kilogram catadetsia te which is about a cup thinning it out sit down right, so this is not butter by the way my fault it's yeast it's got the sugar, the yeast mixed into the warm milk with some um, the flour now, and then you mix it. You're going to mix it all up. So we're going to leave that for a little bit. Futosh eilish dough, it kitch it. Two little spoonfuls of salt, teaspoons. Rising. Tip it in, and it's all going to be mixed. Bit of oil. Got to get air into it. Get air into it. Keep mixing and mixing. So it's all coming up now. Right, so it's took a good 40 minutes of mixing. So what we're gonna do now is you've gotta really, really mix it and mix it. Most people use a machine, a machine's um, broken. So what we're gonna do now is leave it for about 40 minutes, okay? Let it settle. A bit of oil on there, so we can measure it. Oh, look how it's all puffed up now, look at that, it looks lovely. I do about this size ones. You need a bit of oil on your, your, your kezam, on your hands, so that it don't stick to you so much. Right, so we're going to get, managed to get 12 out of that. So I leave these for about um, 10 minutes. Let them relax. No. Right, so eating up the oil now. So you'll be able to put them inside. Get it all flat like that, like you're doing a pizza. Mm. See, then you drop it into the oil. It cooking away. See it rising. Makes it lovely, like loads of air in there. Oh, not air as in air. See it now. Look, look at it here. Now look at that here. I'll make sure the oil is really, really hot. So that one's done now, look. See it? Oh, oh it's hot. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. Here we've got another one in here now. Look at them, lovely. Look, see how it's got, got that like air inside. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. look. Turn it over, fold it. Oh, yes. Like a lino. Lino, not a lino. That's what you've got on the floor. Lino. So these are turned out now. Look at them. Lovely. Got 12 there. Mm -hmm. Sour cream. Here's my langosh. Now the if you want to have garlic sauce, what you need to do is put cut up small two two clove cloves of garlic into tiny pieces. Um, I put three three tablespoons of oil and a little bit of water, a little bit of salt, and I'm just letting it settle a little bit. Let the flavours come out of the garlic. And what you do, you brush it on. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. So you get like the little brush like this, and you just do this all over the langosh. Like this, get that garlic on there, yeah. If you look garlic like me, you smell. Remember, you can't be going kissing your girlfriend or going on dates. Look, see, I love car, put plenty on, I love it. And then what you do, you get your, your sour cream, pop that on. I love sour cream, I do. So you put your sour cream on, spread it out. Right, see how I've grated the cheese up to really small, fine cheese, made it fine. And what you do, you get your cheese, put your cheese on top. I like my cheese, so put 
got plenty on. And you can put, um, if you want some cut up red onion on there as well if you want, you can do. But um, that's it, so see how nice and soft it is. And all you have to do, if you want them a little bit warm or not, pop them, pop them in the microwave for about 10, 15 seconds, or how long, how powerful your microwave is, just till they're nice and warm. Then just do what I've just done. And then you just eat it, you can fold it up. You know, really nice to fill you up, the kids love it. So there you go, Langosh everybody. Enjoy, see you soon.